In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix nvcpl.dll missing or not found error in Windows. So the very first thing that we could do here is to install Windows updates and check if you are if you have any updates on your drivers. So to do this, just go ahead and go to Windows search and just type in update and you'll see for check for update settings here. Just uh, click on it and you'll be able to see your Windows update. So go ahead and click on the check for updates. Uh, let Windows install those updates and restart your PC. So uh, you also have to check uh, if your drivers have any updates. So go to your view all optional updates and you'll be able to see the uh, driver updates here. You could check, uh, put a checkbox on next to them and just hit on download and install. Uh, restart your PC, check if that resolves your issue. Our next solution is to fix corrupted system files. So how do we do this? So the very first thing that we could do here is just go ahead and go to uh, your Windows search, just type in um, command prompt and just right click and run as administrator. Um, make sure that you're on this administrator or this will not work. So next thing you want to do here is just type in SFC space scan now and just hit on enter and this will begin the scan this may take a few uh seconds or minutes depending on your pc uh once the scan is done you could uh try uh rebooting your pc and check if that solves your issue so the next thing that we could do to fix this issue is to run a malware scan so if you don't have a antivirus to run, to run on your pc Windows actually has a built-in antivirus software, which is Windows Defender. So how do you access Windows Defender? Go ahead and go to your search bar here and just type in Windows Defender. You'll see the Windows security here. Just click on it. Go to virus and threat protection and just do a quick scan. So uh, if there are any actions from here, like they found any uh, viruses on your PC, just go ahead and delete those files or quarantine them. So our final and last solution that we could do to fix this issue is to reinstall the NVIDIA driver. So uh, to un uninstall your software, just go ahead and go to Windows uh, Search. Just type in Uninstall. You can see the Add or Remove Program System Settings. Just scroll down until you see the NVIDIA uh, software and just click on it and uninstall. So once done, you could go ahead and open a browser and you'll see the Go ahead and go to the nvidia.com slash download. You'll be able to see the NVIDIA driver downloads here. Just select the uh, driver that you need, uh, the product type, and such. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe if you found this video helpful.